Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 41 years since the iconic TV series Family Ties 1982 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Family Ties. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. All right, let's explore together. In 1982, Meredith Baxter graced a screen with her portrayal of the character Elise Keaton, a role she brought to life at the age of 35. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 76-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of South Pasadena, California. Since when did you care about Jennifer? What do you mean? Mom, if you cared about me, you wouldn't have had me last. <laughs> Difficult time in this uh, part of the country, and so she's been helping out, in her mind, she's been helping out local winemakers by saying, look, you're deep in... In 1982, Tina Yathers graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Jennifer Keaton, a role she brought to life at the age of nine. And now, at the age of 50, she resides in Whittier, California, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. I guess so. You know, lately I've been feeling like we weren't friends anymore. We don't spend time together like we used to. Hey. He was gross. He <laughs> 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 and when... <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, people would come up to me in public and say, like, oh, my God, I want to touch. In 1982, Michael J. Fox graced a screen with his portrayal of the character Alex P. Keaton, a role he brought to life at the age of 21. And now, at a youthful 62 years old, he now resides in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, where he's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Make my son work for me, too. Force him to be Secretary of State. <laughs> but, but, um, you know, I, I love Tracy, you know, obviously. And, she, and she's, she's, she's an amazing person. And it's gonna... Justine Bateman graced the screen as the character Mallory Keaton, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 16 during the 1982 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 57-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Rye, New York. Well, other times haven't been right before we're about to make love. That is just the point, Rick. I mean, things shouldn't change because of sex. If, if we can make conversation other times... Um, but then also there's sort of a frenzy about it. There's a... Uh, sometimes people come up and they would say, oh, I like your work, but other times... Michael Gross graced the screen as the character Stephen Keaton, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 35 during the 1982 filming. And now, at the age of 76, he resides in Chicago, Illinois, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. Right, I had an obligation. Why, as a man? No. As a woman? No. <laughs> as a friend. Asked me, oh, how is Thailand? And I said it was miserable for me. I was not there on vacation. I was there to work. Uh, I took about a week <clears> or <throat> ten days after. Brian Bonzel graced the screen as the character Andrew Andy Keaton, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of five during the 1986 filming. And now, at a youthful 42 years old, he now resides in Torrance, California, where he's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Personal assessment of me may change, but for now, Alex is king. <laughs> because uh, it's easy to answer that and 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 have you know viewers or people watch say, oh, he, you know, the, so and so is. Bl Scott Valentine graced the screen as the character Nick Moore, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 27 during the 1985 filming. And now, at the age of 65, he resides in Saratoga Springs, New York, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. I am like what they call an environmental artist. Uh, I make things out of trash, garbage, junk. And then at the end Thursday, you do another run-through 
with the cameras and they see how it plays. You go home and you come in the next day at about 11. In 1982, Mark Price graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Erwin Skippy Handelman, a role he brought to life at the age of 18. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 55-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of New Jersey. Alex, why did you do it? You could go out with any girl you want. Why couldn't you just say no? My dad was a comedian, and I think comedy oh, really? has saved my life. Your dad I mean, was a radio guy. Where would I be right now without stand-up comedy, honestly? <laughs> Tell me about your dad. I'd be uh, one of the different... Tracy Pollan graced the screen as the character Ellen Reed, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 25 during the 1985 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 63-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Long Island, New York. I know why you're here. Who do you think, I'm stupid? I happen to know that there's no such thing as a sophomore hospital. Vegetarian diet. It's primarily vegetarian, but you can still eat some meats and fishes if, if, you, you know, if you're a, someone who loves meat. You in 1987, Courtney Cox graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Lauren Miller, a role she brought to life at the age of 23. And now, at a youthful 59 years old, she now resides in Birmingham, Alabama, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. He's so cute! <laughs> Alex, please, I don't want to go on the radio. Help me out, help me out. Well, you can talk about anything you want. Just try to talk. I was just... Did you make it? Um, yeah, the thing is, is that I can't say whether I live or die. And I love asking people, what do you think happens to Gail? And people are so... Share your favorite character from the TV series Family Ties with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video. And don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you and see you all soon.